Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to solve one more numerical based on discrete source. It is part second video of the numericals based on discrete source. So let's understand this question. So here is an international Morse code which uses the sequence of dots and dashes to transmit the letter of English alphabets. The dash is represented by the current pulse having the duration of 3 units. So the duration of dash is nothing but 3 unit and dot is having the duration of 1 unit. The probability of occurrence of dash is 1 by 3 of the probability of occurrence of dot. So here is a relationship between the probability of occurrence of dash and a dot. And what we need to calculate we need to calculate the three things that is first of all in the first part we will calculate the information content of dash and a dot after that in the second part we will calculate the average information that is nothing but info entropy h of x then in the third part we will assume that the dot lasts for one millisecond which is same time interval as the pause black and white the symbols and we need to find the average rate of information transmitted so let's write the things or the data that is given to us in this question so here it is represented as the time period or the duration for the dash is 3 units so let it be written as t of dash equals to 3 units also the time duration for dot is equal to 1 unit so time of dot is equal to 1 unit and here is a relationship between the probability of dash and a dot that says that the probability of occurrence of dash is equal to 1 by 3rd times of the probability of occurrence of dot so the probability of occurrence of dash is equal to one third of the probability of occurrence of dot so let us give it as equation number one so this is very important relationship that we are going to discuss since we know that the sum of the probabilities of all symbols that are emitted by a source is equal to one that's why we can say that since the probability of occurrence of dash plus the probability of occurrence of dot is exactly equals to 1 because sum of probabilities of all the symbols is equals to 1. Let us give it as equation number 2. Now we know that from the equation number 1 p of dash is equals to one third of p of dot. So simply substituting the value of p dash here so from equation 1 in place of p dash we will write one third of p dot so one third of p dot plus probability of occurrence of dot is equals to 1 now on taking the LCM that is 3 here p dot plus 3 times of p dot is equals to 1 or we can say that p dot is equals to 3 over 4 so this is the value for the probability of occurrence of dot now as we discussed that the probability of occurrence of dash plus the probability of occurrence of dot is equals to 1 so on substituting p dot in equation 2 we get here if we substitute the value of p dot that is 3 by 4 then we will get p dash plus 3 by 4 that is equals to 1 so 
the value of p dash comes out to be 1 by 4 so this is the probability of occurrence of dash now let us have a look at the part a that is calculation of information content of dash and dot so we will calculate that information content of dot and dash so here is the calculation for information content since we know that the information content for the dash can be given as p dash log base 2 1 over p dash now substituting the value of p dash that is 1 by 4 here we can write i dash that will be equals to 1 by 4 log base 2 1 over 1 by 4 so the value of i dash comes out to be 0 0.5 bits so this is the information content for dash symbol similarly the information content for the dot is represented as i dot that will be equals to p dot log base 2 1 over p dot now the value for i dot will be equals to since we know that p dot is nothing but 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 log base 2 1 over 3 by 4 so i dot will be equals to 3 by 4 and if we solve this log base 2 1 over 3 by 4 then it comes out to be 0 0.415 so the value of i dot will be equals to 0 0.31125 bits so this is the value of information content for the dash and the dot and this is all about the first part now here is the second part in which we will calculate the average information or we can say that entropy so let's calculate it so the average con information that is the entropy is given as h of x that is equals to summation i ranges from 1 to n p of x i log base 2 1 over p of x i here the value of n is nothing but equals to 2 because here are the two symbol that is dot and the dash that's why n is equals to 2 so h of x will be equals to summation i equals to 1 to 2 p of x i log base 2 1 over p of x i now the value of h of x is equals to for the p dot we can write p dot log base 2 1 over p dot and similarly for the dash symbol we can write p dash log base 2 1 over p dash now since we know that the value of p dot is equals to 3 by 4 and the value of p dash is equals to 1 by 4 this is what we had calculated so substituting the value of p dot and p dash in this equation we get 3 by 4 log base 2 1 over 3 by 4 plus in place of p dash we write 1 by 4 log base 2 1 over 1 by 4 on solving this expression we will get the final result as h of x equals to 0 0.811125 bits per symbol 
so this is the value of average information or the entropy and this is all about part b now here is part c in which we have to assume that the dot lasts for 1 millisecond and which is same as the time interval which it takes since the dot takes one unit of time that's why it lasts for one millisecond similarly if we talk about the dash also then it takes three unit of time that's why we can say that the dash will also last for three milliseconds now it also says that the pause between the black and white symbols is similar to this that what do you mean by this pause see this morse code machine will take some pause every time between the generation of that sorry dot and the dash so as it takes some pause therefore the probability of occurrence of this pause is nothing but equals to one only because each and every time it takes some pause since it is a certain event because it happens every time between the generation of dot and the dash that's why we had taken the probability of pause equals to 1 now let's solve this part and finally we will calculate the average rate of information that is capital R so this is the data that is given to us so the probability of occurrence of dot is 3 by 4 and since we know that the duration of dot is 1 unit that is same as the time interval that is equals to 1 millisecond similarly the probability of occurrence of dash is 1 by 4 and its duration is 3 units that's why it will take 3 milliseconds to occur after that the probability of occurrence of pause is equals to 1 and it will take 1 millisecond now since we know that we need to calculate the rate of information that is given as r into h of x we had calculated this h of x entropy but we don't know the value of this small r so let's calculate the value of the small r so calculation of small r that is rate at which the symbol are generated since we know that small r is equals to 1 over t of s so we have to evaluate this t of s or the time required by the symbol so this t of s is equals to probability of occurrence of dot in multiplication with the time required by the dot plus probability of occurrence of dash in multiplication with its time required that is t dash similarly for the pause it is probability of occurrence of pause in multiplication with t of pause now on substituting these all values here we get 3 by 4 in multiplication with 1 plus in place of p dash we write 1 by 4 in multiplication with 3 plus in place of p pause we write 1 and similarly t pause will be equal to 1 on solving this we get the value of t s that is equal to 2.5 millisecond per symbol if we convert it into the symbol second per symbol then it will be equal to t as 2.5 in multiplication with 10 to the power minus 3 second per symbol so this is the value of t of s since we know that the value of r of s is equal to 1 by t of s that's why we can say that the value of a small r is equal to 1 over 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 
सेकेंड पर सिंबल और वी विल गेट द फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ आर इज वन ओवर टू पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस थ्री दिस विल गेट रेसी प्रोकल एंड वी विल गेट द यूनिट एज सिंबल पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ स्मॉल आर नाउ फाइनली लेट्स कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन रेट दैट इज कैपिटल आर सिंस वी नो दैट कैपिटल आर इज इक्वल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ स्मॉल आर एंड एंट्रोपी नाउ सब्सटिट्यूटिंग द वैल्यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ स्मॉल आर वी राइट वन पॉइंट टू फाइव सॉरी टू पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस थ्री इन प्लेस ऑफ एंट्रोपी डेट इज एच ऑफ एक्स वी एवेल्युएटेड जीरो पॉइंट एट वन वन टू फाइव सो फाइनली वी विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर एस थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर बिट्स पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज द एवरेज इंफॉर्मेशन रेट डेट वी वॉन्ट टू इवेल्युएट इन दिस क्वेश्चन and this is all about this numerical if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you